Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sam here with your daily business tips. And in this video, I want to talk to you about being how to be internally motivated. So look, I apologize for anyone that was on the earlier feed. Uh, for some reason, the internet cut out and I lost the feed. So I hope this doesn't happen with this video. <laughs> I've had to do live videos three or four times before. This is one of the downsides of doing live videos, right? But hey, it is what it is. Let's get stuck into this topic. So first and foremost, I will 100% admit that I've always been the person who's kind of been internally driven. I've always wanted to be outside of the norm. I don't want to be part of the norm, right? I don't want to just work a nine to five, yeah, and, and, and kind of do that, do life that sort of way, right? Kind of just close through until retirement. You know what I mean? Like I've never wanted to be that person ever. Basically anything that I've committed to, I've wanted to be the best at it. It doesn't matter. It didn't matter if it was a, a job. It didn't matter if it was a business. It didn't matter if it was basketball. It didn't matter if it was a specific subject at school. But once I committed to it, right, I wanted to be the best at it. So I'll admit first and foremost, right, to put a little asterisk on it, so to speak, that I have always been internally driven. But I've not, I haven't always been motivated, right? There are times that motivation comes and goes, right? And the reason being is that motivation comes from willpower and willpower does actually have a limit on how much you actually have. Now, I'm not saying that you can't will yourself through anything that comes along, right? You literally can. You can push yourself through any obstacle that comes along your way. You can smash through whatever that challenge is. The, the capability, the ability is inside you to achieve what it is, whatever it is that you want to achieve. Trust me, it's there, right? You've just got to find it within you. But how do you go about doing that? That's the question, right? How do you go about finding that internal drive? How do you really discover what it is that it takes to do whatever it takes without being pushed, right, from somebody else or something else, okay? So that's what I wanted to talk about today. And the reason I wanted to talk about that today is not because, you know, I, well, not for any particular reason out there. Like, honestly, like, seriously, like, I, I'm just, you know, I, I fuck up just as much as everybody else, right? I've made just as many mistakes as anybody else on this planet. In, in fact, I'd be more... Uh, willing to say that I, I screw up more than the average person, right? So the reason I've been I've been able to be so internally motivated is because I've always been aware of these sort of things, right? My purpose, my vision, and my mission, right? And so I've always kind of gone back to that. I'm huge. I'm a huge proponent of self development, right? Um, and the reason being is because I don't always have the, the best of attitudes. In fact, I have a pretty shit fucking attitude a lot of the time. And it's because my expectations and uh, what it is that I set out to achieve are so high that when I don't, when I'm not along that path, I get extremely disappointed. Now, that's not a good thing, right? I'm not telling you guys to do that. What I'm trying to say is make sure that you discover what your purpose is, right? Write out what your mission is and write, and write out what your vision is actually going to be. So what's the difference between them? So your vision is basically where you see yourself long term, ultimately in your, in your dream lifestyle, right? I hate to use that fucking word dream because it's, it needs to be more than a dream. It needs to be something tangible, something that you write down, something that you really want to get after and actually make happen, right? Dreams live up here, right? This is reality and that's what we actually want to create. So your vision is something that you want to create, right? Where you see yourself in an absolutely ideal situation. What relationship you want to be in? What country you want to live in? How often do you want to go on holiday? How much money do you want to make, right? These kinds of things. This is what you write down in your vision. Now, your purpose, yeah? Your purpose needs to be the reason why you're doing what it is that you're actually doing. Your why is literally the fuel to achieving anything you want to achieve. If you can figure out what your why is, you can achieve anything you want. I'm being serious. Like you, you can build a million dollar business, right? You can have your your bodybuilding uh, uh, body. Yeah, you, you can you can be a model if you choose, right? And the reason you're able to do that is because you figured out what your purpose is. You need to discover what your purpose is. And when I say you need to discover it, what I mean is you need to sit down and go inside, figure out what it is that you want to do and why you want to do it. Okay, here's a, here's a little exercise that you can apply to help you get to what your true why really is. Because that's the thing, most people don't really understand or know how to get, how to figure out what that why actually is. Now, the why is actually... Uh, you need to ask yourself, sorry, the why exercise is you write down what it is that you want to achieve. Yeah. So say, for example, I want, I want six pack abs. Then you need to ask yourself why. And then you keep asking yourself again, why, 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 why? Now this is best to do with somebody else, right? So that they can keep asking you why. So you can focus more on the answer. If you go seven whys deep, you're going to find the true reason 
why it is that you're actually doing what it is that you're doing. And typically what you'll find is it probably won't be something like, I want six pack abs because I want to impress some chicks. No, probably what you'll find is you want six pack abs because really what you want is amazing health, energy, and abundance so that you have enough life and vitality in you to achieve the things that you really truly want to achieve. That's probably what you'll find. Now, that was the case for me. It may not be the case for you, but whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. What really matters is that you discover it because in finding it, you're going to be naturally motivated. You're going to be internally driven to succeed at whatever it is that you actually want to achieve. Okay. So the, the third thing is your mission. You need to write out what your mission is for your key areas of life. Now, I always talk about the four key things for me, right? That's my body, my babe, my boys, my business, right? So my babe obviously being my, my fiance, my boys being my two kids at this point in time. <clears throat> my business is honestly a huge proponent for me and what it is that I'm doing in life and my body because I do actually want health. I want to be fit. I want to be lean. I want to be healthy. I want to have energy and vitality, right? That the average person doesn't want to have. So I figured out my four key motivators in life, right? And so everything I do is towards those four things. So my mission, I've sitting down and written out my mission for every single thing. For example, I'll read here what, what I've written for my kids, right? So my mission is to grow my boys into beautiful, strong, confident people, willing and daring to take on the world, okay? So that's my mission for my kids. Now, I'm not saying I'm gonna force them to do this and that, but I'm gonna do every, everything I possibly can as a father who is responsible to raise these kids to be amazing adults, right? Contributing adults that are making a difference in the world, yeah? So that's my mission for my kids. I also have a mission, again, for my body, for my business, and for my baby, right? So I have a mission for all those things. And these are the four key motivators in my life. And so, as you can see, I've discovered my purpose, my mission, and my vision. And this allows me to be self-driven, um, not like, uh, like most people aren't. And, and the only reason is because I've actually sat down and done the work. Once you do it, you too will be that person, right? Without even realizing it, you'll easily and naturally get out of bed early. You'll easily and naturally get on with doing what it is that you need to do to achieve the thing that you actually want to achieve. And then once you do that, then you sit down and you write out your goals, yeah? So my goals page is empty at the moment, but you can see I've already got the four like different departments, yeah? And I will write these out. But while I was doing this exercise, I real I came to realize because I was looking for something on YouTube, right? Just to kind of listen to while I was doing this exercise because I like to listen to inf affirmations, incantations, stuff like this because this allows me to really kind of focus internally, right? turn off Facebook, turn off my phone, and really kind of focus on the exercise and really give of myself, right? Time is not the key, energy is. So I give energy to what it is that I'm really doing and I'm focusing and I'm connecting, right? And I get emotional, right? So I'm getting emotional writing out this exercise to the point that when I finish my purpose, I finish my vision, I, I'm my mission, I finish, finish my vision, I'm, I'm, I'm this close to having tears in my eyes, right? I am emotionally moved, right? To the point where I ha almost have tears in my eyes. That's how powerful this stuff is. And all I've done is sit down for 20, 30 minutes and write this out, right? Write out what my life is really all about. So anyone who's followed me any sort of time, you, you, you would have known that one week ago, I did announce that I'm gonna, I've decided to stay in here in Australia, kind of build things out here in the next three years before I decide whether or not I want to really get back to the Philippines. I love the Philippines. I want to be there, but I understand my mission right now is to be here and to the, do the best I possibly can here. And once I figure that out, once I achieve all of that, then I'll move on with the next phase of life. And I'm okay with that, right? Because that's what I want to do. That's the direction in which I want to go. So I had to sit down and, and rewrite my purpose, my vision, and my message, right? I have to reset my goals because I'd calibrated my brain so much to going to the Philippines that I fell off track for a few days when I decided not to. Like I, I was I was demotivated. I wasn't driven. You know, I didn't really give a fuck. I didn't want to go uh, like go places. I didn't really want to do things. Like honestly, basketball is probably my biggest passion in life. And I didn't even want to go and play. Like I chose to stay home and do fucking nothing. Sit here and watch movies, right? Like that's, that's borderline depression, if you will. So my point is this. I had to sit down and recreate my purpose, my, my mission, and my vision, right, for what it is that I'm doing in my life, right? Now I'm going to sit down and, and write out the actual goals and the steps on how I'm going to get there. So how does that apply to you and your business, right? You need to sit down and figure out what your purpose is. What's the purpose for you building a, 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 your, your, your business? Sorry. And so, and once you figure that out, right? Like for example, for me, here's my purpose. My purpose is to help 
uh, <clears throat> sorry, my purpose is to help thousands of people achieve their financial goals, goals through coaching and supporting them, right? That's my purpose. So once you do that, then you want to write out your vision, your your uh, mission. Your my mission is to provide so much support and so much value to people that they will choose to to and successfully work with me, right? So in other words, my my uh, my mission is to out teach my my competitors, so to speak, or the other people that are involved in this niche that I'm a part of, so that people naturally choose me when to work with me when they choose to pursue this thing, right? This is what I call attraction marketing, not prospecting, which I cannot stand by the way. Now, honestly, sorry, the first thing probably should have written out was vision. So vision, purpose, mission, right? So my vision for my business is I have a $50,000 $50, per month business that helps thousands of people all around the world to create the life that they want, right? That's my vision for the, for the business that I'm building for the next three years. And now that I've written this out and I've really connected with it emotionally by, by listening to incantations and affirmations while I was writing this and reconnecting with this, which is something I will review on a weekly basis, once in a while on a, on a day-to-day -day basis, I am ready to rock and roll. Yeah, you guys have probably seen me pick up the slack in the last week. And the reason being is because I've been able to recalibrate my brain. My brain. I've gone back to my morning rituals, which I've changed about, you know, all about moving to the Philippines to staying here and, recre and creating everything from here and then deciding in three years time what I want to do moving forward, okay? So again, once now that I've, now that I've written all those three, out, those three things out and you need to write those things out for your business as well, you need to sit down and write out the goals. Now, by goals, you know, you, you're probably thinking, well, isn't that the same thing? Well, not really. Your goals are actually your steps that you're going to take to achieve that. Now, you may or may not, and this is where a lot of people make the mistake, you might not have, you know, this might, this might take like a million steps, and I don't know those million steps, but I know the first 10, and you might not know the first 10, but you might know the first one, and I guarantee you this much. You take that first step, then you'll get there, right? This is kind of like uh, walking in the fog, if you will. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people, for example, they, they, they drive and they just trust that, hey, I can only see so far in this fog, I'm going to drive to that point. They drive to that point and then they can see another 10 feet, right? They drive another 10 feet and they can see the next 10 feet. It's the same thing with your goals. If you don't know the exact step by step, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. What really matters is that you continue on the path that, you, that you've already started, right? So you, I guarantee you know at least one step that's going to move you closer to that business goal that you've set out in mind, that you've got in mind, right? To move you towards uh, achieving your mission, you know, to, to live in your purpose and to, to um, uh, bring forth the, uh, the vision that you set out for yourself, right? Whatever that first step is, put together a live video, write a, uh, write a Facebook quote, write a value post, um, post something on Instagram, put together a video for YouTube, right? Write out a blog post. I guarantee you, you know at least one step that's gonna move you closer to achieving the, the vision that you have in mind, right? Irrespective of whether it's one month, one year, one lifetime away, I guarantee you, you know that one step Okay, take that one step and then the rest will come afterwards. All right, so thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I really, really appreciate all the love. If you got any sort of value at all, go ahead and give me a like or a thumbs up. Or if I pissed you off, give me an angry emoji. I don't really give a fuck. Do what you want to do. And if you have any questions, then I absolutely want to help. Go ahead and comment on this video below. Or if you prefer to have a private conversation, then go ahead and inbox me. Thank you so much. Take care, much love. And I'll see you in tomorrow's Business Boost video. Peace.